everyone in this video we will discuss how we calibrate the pressure sensor in laboratory to study its characteristics normally sensor is a device which measures physical quantity into corresponding electrical quantity so pressure sensor is an instrument which measures the pressure applied to the pressure sensitive element and converts it into the output signal usually pressure is defined as the applied force by a liquid or gas on a surface area the common units of uh, pressure are pascal bar newton per millimeter square or psi that is pounds per square inch to do sensor calibration we use gauge type pressure sensor where we apply the pressure through the foot pump so it is connected to the transducer trainer kit where the pressure is converted into corresponding electrical quantity so the calibration is the process of configuring an instrument to provide a result within the acceptable range for example the minimum pressure applied be 0 psi and the maximum pressure we apply is a 50 psi for example first we have to find out the value of voltage corresponding to the minimum and maximum pressure applied so let it be v0 psi and v50 psi okay then we have to assign a span of desired output voltage for example i require for 0 psi i require the output voltage as 0 volt and for 50 psi i require the output voltage as 5 volt i am just considering this span of output voltage okay for that we have to calculate the gain that means g span is equal to 5 minus 0 divided by v50 minus v0 here this is the initial value we got from the pressure sensor and this 5 and 0 are the our required values we this required value may uh, may be changed according to our requirements for example if we require 50 voltage for 50 psi then accordingly the gain can be calculated okay so after calculating this g span this gain is set using the span adjustment pot in the kit after setting the gain if we check if we check uh, uh, the trainer kit we will be getting zero voltage for zero psi and a 50 a 5 volt for the 50 psi according to our desired value okay there may be leakage so the values may be very very after that we have to take the readings by applying the pressure gradually we have to apply pressure from 0 psi to 50 psi in terms of 5 that is 5 psi 10 15 like that and we have to take the output voltage from the transducer trainer kit okay so it will be in the range of 0 volt to 5 volt what we had considered so the displayed pressure is nothing but since we had considered 50 psi for 5 volt it the output voltage here what we got should be multiplied by 10 to Uh, get the value of the displayed pressure okay so this will be your output pressure and this will be your input pressure so the error is nothing but this output minus input in terms of percentage so from the stapler column we can able to find out the input span output span accuracy sensitivity of the pressure sensors etc so we will see how the experiment is done in the laboratory and it will be explained by mrs sanita Now we are going to see pressure transmitter experiment. This is a pressure sensor we are going to use, and the food pump is given for giving a pressure. And this is a pressure sensor. Here in the transducer trainer kit, we have more interfaces for uh, sensors and actuators. So I have connected the pressure transmitter to a pressure transmitter interface. Now we can see the connection. How do we have to give? This is a pressure transmitter output. They have inputted. They have given here. the pressure transmitter output is a current current in a form of milliamps so to convert that current to a voltage i am passing this pressure transmitter output to a resistor 250 ohm resistor so i am connecting the pressure transmitter output to a resistor okay so this is not grounded internally so i am grounding this externally 
ओके नाउ द आउटपुट ऑफ अ रेसिस्टर वी हैव टू गिव टू अ इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एम्पलीफायर फॉर व्यूइंग दी आउटपुट वोल्टेज ऑफ एन प्रेशर ट्रांसमीटर सो आई एम कनेक्टिंग टू एंड ऑफ अ रेसिस्टर टू अ इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एम्पलीफायर सो नाउ वी कैन व्यू द आउटपुट थ्रू दिस so now i am seeing the output of a uh, pressure transmitter in a instrumentation amplifier i have connected the positive of a multimeter to a instrumentation amplifier output and the negative to a ground okay now the pressure is zero pressure is zero psi for zero psi i am getting 1 volt we are going to calibrate the values now so we have to note down the minimum Uh, range and the maximum range so this is our minimum range for 0 psi we are getting a 1 volt noted down for 0 psi we are getting 1.006 voltage and now i am going to give a pressure of uh, maximum that is i am going to give 50 psi pressure now if i am pressing the food pump I'm giving maximum 50 psi. So for 50 psi, if you see the multimeter, we are getting 4.40. Due to some leakage, I'm the values keep on decreasing. It is 4.40. Voltage for 50 psi. So note down for 50 psi, we got 4.4. So to calibrate, we have to uh, calculate a gain first. For that, for no load condition, that is without giving any pressure. For zero psi. I got 1.006 voltage, and for the maximum, that is 50 psi. I have taken maximum as 50 psi. So for 50 psi, I got 4.40 volt. This is the actual output of my uh, pressure transmitter now. Now I am assigning a value. I am going to calibrate this pressure transmitter to give zero psi, zero voltage. For 50 psi, I need five voltage. This is my calibration value. I have to calibrate the Uh, sensor output volt for zero psi and five volt for fifty psi. For that, I have to calculate a gain. For calculating gain, uh, we have to in the numerator write what value we are going to calibrate. For full load, I am going to calibrate for five volt. For fifty psi, five volt minus for zero psi, zero volt. Five minus zero divided by what i actually got for 50 and 0 uh, uh, that is full load and no load so for full load i got 4.40 minus for no load i got 1.006 this is my gain calculation so what we assumed full load minus uh, no load and uh, in the uh, denominator full load minus no load what the actual value we got from a pressure transmitter so in uh, in order of this i got a value of 1.47 this is my Gain 1.47 is my gain. Now we can see how we have to set this gain in our kit and how we are going to calibrate it. So for calibration, I have to give the instrumentation amplifier output, which we have taken already. We have to give that to a zero span. We can directly give this to a zero span if our gain is less than 10, because in this zero span. Uh, a gain of 10 we can set less than 10 if your gain is you can use only zero span if your gain is more than 10 we have to go to a two stage amplifier and we have to use both two stage amplifier and a zero span for a calibration so our uh, gain is 1.47 i am directly connecting it to a zero. so i have connected to a zero span now if you see a zero span we have we have two ports here one is for setting a gain and one is for a zero span that is for calibration okay so if you see the port if i am varying it the value will keep on changing now it is 1 now it is 2 now it is 2.10 2.20 2.30 like it it will keep on moving now it will it is showing 3.4 like that we can set the zero span and also gain also the same way so now i am setting this always the zero span should be in 1 so 
I have set this to 1 and in this gain we have to set what value we got we got 1.47 so in the display it is 1 here I have to set 47 now it is 40 42 46 and 47 this is my gain now I have set my gain now we have to see for no load and full load what is the voltage we are getting Now if you see a pressure transmitter, we have set it written full load, 50 psi it is, 50 psi now. So for our calibration value, our output of uh, G span, 0 span should be 5 volt. Like that only we are going to calibrate. I am getting 11 volt for uh, 50 psi. So now I am calibrating using 0 span. If I am changing a 0 span, the value keep on decreasing. So I have to set it to a 5 volt because for 5 p, uh, 50 psi we need 5 volt so 50 psi for 50 psi i have set it 5 volt now now for 50 psi it is 5 volt let us release the pressure and check for 40 uh, for 40 psi how much we are getting Forty psi. I am getting three point seven nine, three point eight. So forty psi. We are getting three point five eight. So instead of four, we are getting three point eight five. This is our error. Like that, I am going to take the reading. These are the values we got. My applied pressure for 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, I have applied uh, pressure like this and I got a value like this. For 50 PSI, we have set it 5 volt. So 5.002 I have set it and for 45, I got 4.46 voltage and 40, I got 3.884. Like that, I got these values. These are with error because the pressure sensor is also leaking uh, and uh, instrumentation error is also added here and this is the amplified output voltage and the display pressure have written based upon our amplified output voltage because for 50 psi we have set at 5 volt and for 0 psi i have set at 0 volt if you see the difference for 5 i have set at 50 so you have to multiply this amplified output voltage into 10 you will get the displayed pressure like that only we have set the values so for 5 point the display pressure is 50 and for 4.5 it is 44 and uh, for th uh, 38 that is 3.8 I have set it 38 like that I have written the values now this error you have to calculate the error with the formula applied pressure minus displayed pressure divided by the applied pressure into 100 this applied pressure minus displayed pressure divided by applied pressure this will be your error based upon your error you can draw your graph and see the output this is the output of a pressure transmitter experiment